Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Look at those beautiful colours. So today we're going to be doing some grape harvesting, but I'm not expecting to make a profit. I know it doesn't sound like very hopeful thinking, but uh, yeah, we have a very small vineyard and the harvester costs £12,500 to rent. So anything that we make here is going to be good. It's just going to be a nice experience to do the grapes and of course over a longer period of time we're going to be able to expand this vineyard and then we'll be able to make loads of money but i don't really know how much money we're going to make um maybe it'll be a fortune anyway enough of me standing next to the vineyard let's get cracking well i guess it would be a, a wise idea to take a look at the used machinery cells first we have a wheel loader chipper potato planter and a slurry spreader all of which are very good deals but yeah nothing really relevant to us yet uh, although soon I do want to be able to get the telehandler, the JCB. It would fit in so well with this Let's Play. I didn't even know this was in the game until I did that stream a few days ago. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be so nice to have. It is £108,000, so it's not that far out of reach. It'd be good to get it. But of course, we do have a, a few episodes to go yet before we can afford it. So, grape technology. It is £242,000 to buy. Leasing, as I said, is a bit cheaper but still very expensive, 12,342. But it's gonna be a nice experience. So here we go. I do want to sell a tractor. This has been mentioned over many episodes. I just need to decide which one, and I'm really struggling. I really don't know which one to go for. We don't need four tractors. The money could easily be used somewhere else. Okay. Very interesting machine. So yeah, we need to be sort of, I need to be in the grass section with the, the cab part because the vines go up the center of the machine. I'm sure with a bit of practice, it won't be too hard. Third person view will probably be dead easy. The colors are so vibrant. And we are sticking in the month of October for this episode, just because this is the time when the grapes are ready. I don't want them to go beyond their best, I don't want them to just die or wither. Uh, right, okay, so here we are. Just indicate left. I take it we do have indicators. Yep. And this is going to be interesting. I wonder when the best time to sell is. I really hope it's now, but usually, uh, whenever the harvesting time is, that's when it says it's worse, because most people are supplying at that time. So let's just take a look. The prices don't seem too bad. But yeah, as predicted, this is harvest time, so that is when the price is bad. Best sold in May and June. Hmm, don't know if we can hold on to them for that long. We can figure out exactly how much we've made, though, without selling them. Once we're done. See how many litres we have. Okay, so they must shake the grapes off, I'm guessing, as it goes through. Oh, it's actually shaking the vine. Whoa! <laughs> now that I was not expecting. I thought you'd just drive through it, but I like that the vine's actually animated. As with all these harvesting techniques, it looks violent, but well, it can't be that violent for the uh, for the plant itself. It's like tree shakers in orchards, when you shake the tree to get the apples off. It looks really bad for the tree, but try and test it. It must be harmless. So, the grapes have gone, as you'd expect. The grapes are here. So far we have 220 litres. Yes, we're not going to make a profit. Unless the price gets super good. Which it might do. And just keep all the bits are coming off the back, all the leaves. Okay, so this time I'm going to be in a first person view. We'll have a view from every angle. All two of them. Well, I guess third person view, we could do 360. Uh, right, start it up again. This is going to be, like I said, it's going to be trickier. Um, I don't know. Ooh. How am I positioned here? I'm too far to the left. So I need the cab closer. So we're pretty much on top of it, really. Uh, that camera there on the screen doesn't seem to function. 
If it did function, that would give you such an amazing view. I haven't hit it yet, except for at the start. So it must all be functioning correctly. Okay, and there we go. I wish my vineyard was bigger. Such a shame. There are the grapes. Going on to the conveyor belt. We're not even going to get a thousand litres. Crikey. Okay. So, number three. The fastest speed we can do this at is five miles per hour. Seems pretty decent. And go the grapes. I love the shaking of the vine, it looks so impressive. Here's the rear view. And there are the final ones going through. We mustn't miss them. And we're done for another year. Okay, so we have, from our very, very small vineyard, 756 litres. I don't know if there's such thing as a smaller grape harvester, maybe a trailed one. I'm guessing not. Um, but yeah, this is very expensive to do it this way. So the only way it would actually be financially viable is if you did have a huge vineyard. And I know that one there is unnaturally small. Now another expense which we're going to have to pay, otherwise we can't unload this, is the trailer. We need a special grape trailer, which is at least, I think it's, what is it? £13,000, something like that. Let's just see here. Grape technology. 16500 that is designed specifically to carry grapes only. So we have to get it. There's, there's no two ways about it. One day on this series, we will have a huge vineyard. Probably that whole field. But clearly, that was just a nice little demonstration. We are not going to do any more grape work until we have a bigger one. It's just not going to be worth it. We can't waste money. But it does mean, because we have the trailer... We already have a few pieces of equipment as well. We have the uh, the tractor here, and we have the mulcher. We will be ready to do it on a, on a bigger scale. So let's go and get it. Uh, maybe actually I could use the Landini tractor. If I take this mulcher off, just pop it there. Let's go and get it. It did look to be a very small trailer, so it probably will fit very nicely to this tractor. One thing I've noticed is FS22 economy does seem to be much harder than FS19. I'm on easy mode. So it's interesting. Certainly more challenging. If I were to do survival challenge on hard mode, I don't know how long it would take to progress. Because we're kind of slow, uh, even on easy mode. Okay, there we go. So it's the Furman trailer. Fitting very nicely to the Landini. Let's get it back to the farm and we'll put the grapes into here. I think actually this this economy is probably all being set up um, to encourage you to do productions. Which makes sense because production is all new to FS22. I haven't done it yet because I haven't been able to. Uh, we don't have the money but as soon as we do we can make raisins for example. And I would guess, I haven't actually looked before ever, but if I was to look at the raisin prices, I would imagine they're going to be pretty high. Raisins. 3,743, so yeah, already considerably higher. Prices go up and down quite a bit. Uh, in fact, they're at their highest now, so yes, it looks like raisins are that price. So still more expensive than the grapes, although the grapes might get to that price when we're out of the harvesting season. Okay, just get that aligned. Should be about right. We can now unload our grapes, our bunches of grapes. And now the machine can be returned. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it is just the, um, the rental fees are too much because it would never have cost us £12,500 roughly for an hour's use. So there we go, grapes. Very, very nice to see. Let's put this away in a shed. 
undercover and we'll sell them like I said when the price is better now we also have um, we still have the sorghum sorghum needs to be sold I'm not too sure if the price is going to be good at the moment but it will be better than what it used to be it used to be terrible uh, yep so we'll return that from here and we want to be in this category olive oil look at that some good prices there cereal now I'm really considering doing cereal I think cereal is probably oats and honey we have the honey actually I'll just take a look at that very quickly in a second but first of all sorghum price is best in January February time so we'll give it a bit of time yet because as you can see it only gets better from here yeah, we're going to be seeing some uh, increases. We'll leave the sorghum. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at that production. It is in this construction category. Productions, factories. So you've got all these different factories here. I know that the clothes are worth a lot of money to sell. Cereal factory. So yeah, we have oats there. We do have corn. Raisins and honey and that will produce the cereal so uh, oats will be easy we can easily harvest those corn is easy if we have a header raisins that would be the issue yes yeah, so we need to spend eighty thousand pounds to get the grape processing units that will produce grape juice and raisins so these are all things that we are going to be doing but not yet i wish we could but not yet right then so with that out of the way We've got our lovely income there from the uh, from the grapes. As I said though, at the beginning of the episode, I was not expecting to make a profit. On the other hand, these sheep should be really helping us quite a bit. They're producing their wool. The bees are producing honey. That needs to move, actually. Just make some space. I'm not too sure if more than one pallet can spawn at the same time. It looks like it probably is just one. Uh, different for the wool, though, by the look of it. Judging by the size of the trigger... So it's best to keep this clear. And I was... Well, at one stage I was putting them straight onto a trailer, but we do need the trailer for other stuff. So... I'll just stack it over here. Okay, so actually, thinking about it, I don't think it's something we can do. I, I think this is as sorted for October. Initially I was just going to do this whole episode in October, but as it turns out, I would say we'd be better off moving on. Yes, I'm going to activate the lettuce. We're going to grow some lettuce instead. Makes for a nice change. The strawberries which are remaining should sell. Okay, yeah, so before we do anything, let's just make sure those sheep have enough water. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they've got plenty. Plenty of food. So we'll leave them to it. I can't wait for the time when we don't have to rush through days, because even one month per day is, is a bit too much at the moment. But the time will change. Okay, so we're going to be into no November, which might not be very different. It's probably going to be fairly similar. Ooh, yes, yeah, so it's just registered the leasing cost, but it hasn't deducted any more money. Just like a summary of the day's expenses. Um, and yeah, we'll put the time to 120 just so we can see a bit more. Sorghum prices, as expected, are improving. Very good to see. Grape prices, I think, have gone up. Yeah, they look to be higher than they were before. And we do have some more things in the used machinery category. A culty plough, which <laughs> requires 435 horsepower. A forage harvester header. Power harrow. Oh, it's a drill. Sorry. A drill uh, with a power harrow on the front. It's the full setup. So again, nothing there which I'm going to find super useful. Okay, so I've just taken the stair tractor over to the dealership. We need to get the wheels changed. We're currently on row crops, and we could really do with just having standard wheels. It won't cost anything. We do already own those wheels. Okay, right, let's get that taken back to the farm. Still can't decide which tractors to sell. We just don't. We don't need three. 
that is obvious. Uh, I suppose it would be a shame. I I can never bring myself to sell them. I like to just collect them, but we're gonna have to. Otherwise, we're not gonna progress. Again, there's not gonna be anything to do. I don't think in this month. So I'm just going to feed the sheep, and then we're going to rest. And I think until yeah, until the price is up for the other crops that we have, there's not much to do. But when we sold them, we'll be in a much better place financially. Okay, so the uh, sheep have taken some of that. That was such a good contract. I was allowed to keep some of the hay. So we didn't have to buy a tether or anything. Brilliant. So, again, let me just pile that there. Top up their water. And we'll move into December. It might be all snowy. We do need to do some stone picking, but again, it's not crucial. Until the spring. I attempted that. It's probably about time we change as well. We're still wearing our summer outfit. Nice hot air balloon. We'll change first. Because it's going to be cold. Right, I'm going to go with that one there, and we'll have those. I think they're chains. Yeah, they are. They're chainsaw trousers. But not to worry. See you in December. Will it snow? Yes, I saw snow. It did indeed snow, but it has now stopped. Just get it a bit brighter. Uh, right, so, would our usual checks? This will get repetitive, so I will start to cut some of this out. Sorghum prices don't seem to be that good anymore. We do have some more honey. So we get that moved. We have some more wool. No point selling that yet. So we're definitely getting a, a nice little accumulation of honey now. Unless we had a big animal farm, there's not much for me to do in the winter. We are growing strawberries and lettuce. Well, I think that's probably for the best. Keep the door shut. Okay, uh, right, so we could either stone pick or we could move on to January. These are the different things in the used machinery sale today. Again, nothing of use to me yet. The baler is close to being useful, but yes, we don't have the money and it's not essential. Welcome to January. <laughs> We're going to be going through half a year in this episode. Uh, just move another pallet of honey, and I'll see you in February. We're actually going to stop in March. Ooh, it's a cold February. We have snow. Very frosty. But we are making money. Despite skipping days, we're making money because of the greenhouse. It's about a thousand pounds a month. Uh, there will be more honey to move. It's one percent off full. One litre. So we'll check the price for sorghum and grapes and hopefully we can sell those today. And we'll move on to March and then we can start to do fill work. I didn't want to do that, but just because of how our farm is currently set up, there's nothing, literally nothing we can do. Yes, so we're going to sell the sorghum. It's at its best price. Um, and we're going to leave the grapes until May. April, May. I think eventually this farm is going to be completely transformed. It'll be full of production buildings. And um, yeah, we'll have a bigger vineyard, maybe an olive grove. So we have 8,000 litres. I have set a beacon of light. So we'll follow that. And we can start to get this sold. Yes, we're doing something in February, and there is snow on the forecast.
Well, this is it, the final load. It's so good to have some money in for once. It's going to be very handy. Ooh, I almost saw it under the pit. <laughs> uh, I think you can see under, actually. Yeah, wait for that trailer to close. Interesting. Anyway, that was £8,869. Yeah, I, I did get an underview before. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, £53,891. So we do need to focus on the crops, the combinable crops. Skeleton trees. Things really open up in the winter time. Anyway, I've just looked at the used machinery and there is a used plow. A very cheap, small used plow. So we could actually join the fields together, which might be a good idea. Is it worth four and a half thousand pounds? Actually, that is quite a large area, if you think about it. All combined. So yeah, I think we might do that. And we could always sell the plow again afterwards, so... Yeah, that, that seems like a, a sensible idea. Here comes the snow. Um, just put the time to times to ten. We are producing wool nicely. I think the sheep are okay still. Hmm. Probably would be a good idea to give them some hay and some uh, water. Let's just put this over here somewhere. Yes, I'll do that very quickly. I'll just grab that hay bale, give them some food, then go and get some water from the lake, and then in this beautiful Christmassy weather, we shall uh, get. Well, actually, I should probably buy the plow now just to guarantee it. It's here. Uh, Fourteen thousand. Hey, that's our header. You could probably be really sneaky, you know, and sell our header and then buy that one cheaper. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, actually, that is super sneaky. Is that? Is that a thing? If I go to headers... Oh no, <laughs> definitely not. Yep, they've thought of that. Yeah, so... Um, we, we, which wouldn't profit, I don't think. It's like exactly the same price. Buy that. 4,472. And uh, yeah, we'll um, sort everything else out here. That will give us a bit of extra land. I don't know if I should just have a strip of grass here and then turn this field back to arable. Might be a wise idea. Okay, so we're doing so well to this bale. I do wish I had more sheep. This is at its capacity now. We can't put any more into there. Uh, we've almost run out of food. Should get through the winter though. We've got all that grass to cut in the spring, so no issues. There we go, we had to do an extra load, but not to worry. Greenhouse has been consuming quite a bit. But it means we can make lots of money from there as well. So that's going to fill the trough. And we have plenty for the future. So yeah, the bees are hibernating, I think. That's why there's no honey there. Let's get over to the store. Uh, which tractor should we use? Probably the voucher, actually, I think. This tractor is probably going to be the most suitable, even though... All three of our tractors here, except for the Landini, are powerful enough to run the plow. Or maybe even the Landini would be able to do it, but there's not much point to put it on that tractor when we have bigger tractors. So let's go and see what we've purchased. I'm expecting the snow to settle very soon, so I'm not too sure if we can plow in the snow. We'll have to find out. Well, here it is. 
not bad. I think, um, yeah, back in the days of uh, well, all the other versions of farming simulator, you would tend to start off with a plow. I don't know if you did do a 19 actually, maybe you did. Uh, so yeah, this is the first game I think where you start off with the least equipment. Which is probably why it seems more challenging, because you'd tend to start off with stuff which you don't really need, and then you can sell it. And actually, yeah, you do tend to start off with uh, grain in the silos that you can sell, and the silo was empty. I'm, I'm playing on easy. It was empty. So, again, this is why it's more challenging. We're here. So what I need to do is set allow create fields by pressing Y, and then we can hopefully put a pretty straight line in here. First time I've used a plow in this game. Oh, that, that looks so much better. The animation of that. Obviously we don't have dynamic ground, it's not you can't dig it up or anything, it's not 3D furrows, but that still looks pretty good. Oh yes, very, very good. Oh yeah, I can see some substantial work's been put into that. That looks so much better. Anyway, I've decided the stair tractor is going to go. It's just not required. I know that we have paid to put the row crop tiles on it, which is my only uh, issue with it. The only issue with getting rid of it, because we would have to pay for row crop tiles again. Um, but it's it's just not required. We could put a front loader on either of these two. These two are much higher horsepower, so it's best that, that one is the one that goes uh, I like it but yeah we just don't we just don't need it you need to do a bit of a tidy up here anyway by the look of things uh, let's just turn the plough over try and keep this as neat as possible uh, already outside of the the area oh well Hmm. Well, it won't be that noticeable. So I will continue. And, like I said, although it doesn't look like a very big area, it adds up. The amount of grain we'll be able to get off this area will be significant, really. And it's all extra. And I said before, if we don't want the plow, we could just sell it. We could actually repair it and sell it. I'm not too sure if that's going to bring in more money. But the option... Is there. And as for the track, yeah, it's a bit of a shame to get rid of the track, but we can just go around. It's not that far. I would much prefer to have the, uh, the land for farming than just having a cut through. And actually, apart from the time when I was harvesting this field, I don't think I have used this track. So it's only used during harvest, and during harvest we'll be in this area. It's just it'll be one field, so <laughs> we'll be already in the field. It doesn't matter. There we go, we're just finishing off this end. Ever so slightly extending the field, but I do want to keep the grass. Most of the grass. And the snow didn't seem to settle, it didn't accumulate, so... I'll put the time to times 120, we'll see what happens. It's probably a bit too mild. That was good. That was worth doing. Weather forecast, yeah, it's two degrees. A little bit too mild, looks like tonight though. Oh wow, yeah, much colder. Still snowing, minus three and four. So it's all going to be changing very soon, although we're not going to see too much of that because we're going to be uh, moving on to March for the next episode. So, uh, well, I'll keep this going at 120 for now, see if we can see some snow. It'll be this evening, so 
Uh, anyway, let's go and put this back in the yard. That is a job well done. We now have one big field. I'm sure many of my viewers would agree that was a good idea because I actually remember in FS19, uh, when I was doing the Feldman series, many, many people said, why don't you just join all the fields together? And I don't know if I ever did. Can't remember. I might have done. But yes, it's a good idea. It's definitely a good way of making the most of the land. That's better. We need more lights. So we're doing well for honey, and we seem to be doing quite well for wool. We do have fifty thousand pounds, so it's not all it's not all slow. But yes, it is slower than uh, previous versions. But slower to make lots of money. But I guess that's probably not a bad thing, because if you suddenly make loads of money, then there's not as much to work towards. Anyway, is this snow going to settle? I will just wait for a few minutes and see what it's like at about 9pm. It's very magical. But... No. Nothing. It's not settling. We have had it settle before, so it must be a little bit too mild or something. Give it a few more minutes. Whew. It's getting very cold out here. No, I don't think it's going to settle. Um, very decent lighting though. And I do like the snow. It looks very realistic. I just wish at night there were stars. I really wish there were stars. I know it's a farming game, but even so, it would be nice. Actually, there is an observatory as well, so yeah, it would make more sense. Anyway... We are going to wrap this video up here. Next video coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.